Hello, this is the RPG Crawler, and welcome back to my let's play of the Elder Scrolls IV, Oblivion, where we're going to look in to the mouth of the serpent, which is where the Madstone is, the Draconian Madstone. And I'm already alerted. No! I forgot to... I forgot to heal up! I forgot to repair my stuff! The ruins appear to be infested with undead Akaviri. I don't know how long they've been trapped here, but I should proceed with caution. I need to locate the Akaviri commander of the four who is said to possess the Draconian Madstone. Yeah, I'm... I'm getting kind of owned here, so I'm going to step out. And it's going to follow me. So what I need to do... is get some gain on it. So I can try to heal up, then maybe take it down, um, and then go repair and level up and stuff, because there, there's a lot of open space up here. So can I even fast travel here? Yeah, I can just fast travel back and forth to town. I can just fast travel to town and back. So yeah, let me... Uh, let me take care of this skeleton, wherever it landed. Okay, skeleton, where are you? I have healed myself. Oh, here we go. Ow! Man, this guy's brutal. Look at that long sword, or that uh, Akaviri blade he's got. I think I may be able to take that. Ow, stop it! Stop it! It's as fast as my dagger. And it hits harder. So the guy doesn't hit as hard as the ogres, but he hits pretty hard. Here we go. So where is that guy? Oh, over there. Whoop! Let's see if he does it again. Come on. Come on. I really don't want to do this. I've done this so much already. I don't want to cheese at all, but at the same time, I need to get some stuff done. That actually hit him. And he did a fair amount of damage. Oh no. And that one was just a straight up block. Because I landed in an awkward place. I think it's because these things are silver. Or not the arrows, but the bows. Look at this. This is doing a ton of damage to them. Is he just blocking those? Yeah, they're just falling out of him. Uh, I think that's it's cause he, that's an attention to detail I didn't notice. It's they can't stick in a skeleton, so they just fall through. <laughs> I totally didn't realize that happened. Come on. <laughs> Ow, oh. stop chopping me up. Come on, and boom. That broke him. Got bone meal. Got a ruined Akaviri katana. And a ruined Akaviri shield. Now I'm going to take a look at these real quick. Because I think even a ruined Akaviri katana is... Oh, it's 20 pounds. 20 pounds. Jesus. And worth almost nothing. And the ruined Akaviri shield... Heavy armor, 14 pounds, like one defense. Totally not worth it. I am going to have to head back to town. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to fast travel, heal up, head back to town. I will see you when it comes time to level up after I've repaired and everything. And then I'm going to come back here. 
All right, so I repaired everything and I sold off some some of my heavier equipment that I was not using anymore, uh, including magical equipment. I've got a room and a so that'll give me some spending cash and lighten my loads. Sure, I'll take it. And we'll go ahead and level up real quick. Not this dude's room. So, wow, that is a that is a sad level up. That is a super sad level up. No, that is a real sad level up. How did I level up and have like only that layout of stats? Wow. That sucks. I'm going to boost strength and and I guess I guess agility um, yeah, sure, why not? That was a sad level up. Okay, well, I'm gonna go get uh, back into the game. I will, uh, just kind of quick travel up there. Oh, shit, I gotta go run through that again. So, I'll, I'll, I'll... Uh, I'll see you at the ruins. Alright, I'm back. And I know there's probably people out there tearing their hair out going, Why do you settle for such a weak level up? It's because, I mean, I don't want to take the time to do a whole bunch of... A bunch of min-maxing in terms of what to get. I could do a little bit, I guess, but... Every time I do that, it'll slow the game down a little bit. And I think it's more interesting to see how I handle the situations as is. Even if I eventually just start getting my ass kicked a bunch. There is always a way. Alright, that was on that was creepy. Well those things require you to step on them. Ah. I'm undead. He's facing me though. Which means that... I'm only going to have the one chance to, uh, to sneak attack him, and I can't sneak attack him in the face. Okay, come on. Come on, bro. Ow. He parried me. Oh, crap. There's another one. Come on, come on. They're keeping their distance. That's the reason I used Red Wave, is because even though it's slower than the dagger, it's got a nicer... Oh, there's three of these! What the hell? No, why am I... Why am I dragging... Oh. I was sitting there wondering why I was... Oh, that, there goes one of them. Anyway, I was wondering why I was going so slow, and that was largely because uh, I had somehow clicked off run. Or tabbed off run, whatever. Come on. Come on. Come on, you can come to me. Fighting him straight up. See, I can, I can avoid cheesing it, although I... I did let that one trigger that trap. That was that was kind of funny. Or rather, I triggered it. Yo. He can't really walk around it, can he? No more traps trigger him? Ow. No, I gotta heal up. No, don't go around it, dude. He can't go around it, because he's wider than the gap is. And I'm okay with that. Oh no, he can jump! I forgot about that. Ow, the trap got me. Well, let's loot up. Got bone meal. 
All this stuff's ruined. Yeah, nothing there worth worth taking, unfortunately. Let me heal up a bit. And that calls for a quick save, because that was a rough fight. Go this way first. See if there's any more of these guys. There probably are. There's probably like dozens of them. There's probably lots more traps too. That's unfortunate, but not unexpected. I just hope I actually see them. Alright, that's where the center one goes. Oh. oh no. Oh, dude's at the bottom. I'm over here now. What's in here? Not a lot useful. Okay, this goes down to... I guess the next section of this area? I guess this is a shortcut? Can't even hit this guy. Why was he swinging at me? I mean, he's down there. I may as well take the shot. Oops. Come on, dude. Stop running around. What the fuck? Alright, I'll see you when he's dead. Or I can fall down. I guess that works too. More of the same. Ow, stop it, dude. Things don't have a ton of hit points. Ah, but they're parry. Ow! There we go. It was just a matter of time. Let's finish exploring this ground floor because. As much as I want to finish this quest, I'm also interested in treasure. Probably a whole bunch of these guys back here, aren't there? Hmm. Well, there's a guy over there. Don't turn around, dude. Power attack. Power attack. Power attack on the backstab. Yes, indeed. Ow. This guy might be able to take me. I need to wait for him to be off guard, and then I can swing. Yeah, you can't block when he's recovering from an attack. But he can attack just immediately thereafter. Ow. Come on, dude. Come on. There's kind of way I'm going to have to do it because I'm a light armor dude. That's how thieves are supposed to do it. Stay mobile. Or better yet... Don't get into one-on-one -on -one melees at all. Unfortunately, that's not an option in a game that's largely single-player dungeon crawls. There we go. Not bad. Did I just trigger another... Sounded like I triggered another trap there. Well, there's another quick save. Got anything back here? Oh, there's another skeleton down there. See if I can't get another backstab in. Make it two for two. And... 
Backstab. All right. Now I'm playing like a thief. Unfortunately, now I'm also getting my butt kicked, so... Which I guess is playing like a thief. Ow. Come on. Gotta fight him on equal terrain. Which is oddly enough, for these guys, a necessity. Because you gotta watch that shield. Come on, dude. Yeah, and I can't see that shield when he's like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ow! How he jumped! I hate that. Come on, dude. Come on. See, if I practice block to boost my endurance, I really need some endurance. Come on. Come on, dude. Come on. Problem is, I need a way better shield. Ow. There we go. Onward. Is there anything worthwhile down here? Not really. And this goes into the eyes of the serpent, which is different from the scales of the serpent. So I guess they're all connected in some way. Oh, crap. There's multiples of these. Oh. Ow! That trap owned me! Fortunately, that, that went down quick. Now, I saw another one of these dudes over here. I need to watch for them traps. Okay, dude. And... Backstab! Alright, no power attacks. Come on, come on. Give me some sweet, sweet endurance. This is my life now. Just trading blows with a skeleton. And maybe repairing my shield. I do have repair hammers. And armory is also a uh, endurance, an endurance skill. So let's do that real quick. Uh, where's my, where's my hammer? Where's the hammer? Here we go. I'm out of hammers. It's the only problem with armory. You need a lot of hammers to build it up. Oh my god. Hardest lock I've encountered so far. It was worth it. Barely. Alright, let's thoroughly explore this level. I... I hope... That I can oh crap, there's something up there. And it sees me. No 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 dudes. Oh shit, there's two of them. Come on, one at a time, one at a time, dudes. Alright, come on, dude. Is it just me or is my life like really low for some reason? I guess I didn't heal myself up completely. Am I just knocking them back bit by bit? Alright, dude. Come on. Yeah, he's hitting hard even through the shield. I definitely need to build block. Oh, crap. Here comes another one. Okay, dude. I need to finish you guys off. Ow! No!
Yeah, we need to get that one dead first. No! Come on, you... Oh, shit. We need to get this guy down. Oh, he keeps locking me just so. Come on, not you. You. Ow. Ow. You make me wish I didn't have more destructive ah. magic. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, dude. One, ah. One's oh. almost down. I could switch to Flare and just peg him, I guess. But, uh, oh, shit, which one's which? Ow. Yeah, there's my wounded one. Yeah, I'm I'm going to go ahead and just take this guy out. Not you. This one. There we go. Now I can go ahead and start healing myself up and take this other guy out. Man, this is way more trouble than it's worth. Well, there goes uh restoration. I can now get better better heals. One. Come on, come on, come on, dude. Ah. I just thought Akaviri were like non humans. Come on, come on, dude. Man, he's hitting hard. I just hope my block actually get, uh, gets higher at some point. My blade is building just fine. See, boosting strength and endurance is going to be really, really useful for me. Because both are really, really necessary for combat like this. Which, as much as I'd like to avoid it, is not the case until you get some pretty hefty magic items a little later in the game. Or you pick your uh, battles a little bit more carefully. But we're not about picking picking battles carefully or about charging on in on in there in stealth and doing everything we can to mess things up what's in the chest nice nice potions well does this lead to another area this leads to the fangs of the serpent which I don't need just yet let's check down another corridor And I'm fully expecting this one across from here to be more of the same. Oh no, it's not. It's just a barrel with some torches. Okay then. Not a problem. Now this leaves just this one. Okay. There's one of these bastards. Oh man, I wish I could just get around him, but I can't. Come on. Oh shit, there's two of them. Again with two of them. No! Why won't you die? Like an NPC would say. Well, we'll go ahead and take these guys down, but... Jesus. Wait, wait, wait. I see something. I see something. With, I spy with my little eye. An untriggered trap. Nothing happened. Oh. No! Come on. I don't have the endurance to... to take both these guys on... with the block method. Ow. Ow. Because see, all it takes is one stun, and i got two of these guys taking three pot shots at me. 
Come on, try the other one. And nothing happened. There's only one of those. Some trap master dropped the ball, man. There should always be two of those. Symmetrical traps, people. Symmetrical traps. Oh. Alright, this is probably making people sick. Just watching me run back and forth up through this. Come on. Oh, crap. Well, I'm whittling him down a little bit. I'll take a few hits. I just need to get one of these guys down. Quote unquote, a few hits. Come on, focus on one. Damn it. Alright, let's uh, run away for a little bit. Okay. There we go. There's my chosen one. And back to proper fighting. I should have saved my repair hammers, though. As soon as this shield breaks, I'm kind of messed up. Come on, dude. We can do this. I need my block to raise. Oh, that was a shield. That was a shield breaking one. Nope, nope. Okay, there we go. That power attack. Come on. We'll take him down. Just a matter of time now. Ow, I gotta stop getting greedy. There we go. Alright then. Continuing onward as soon as I've got some health. Alright, back down the corridor here. I know I don't have plenty of health, but I got some health. This also goes to the fangs of the serpent. So I guess it just kind of loops around. Oh, there's a lot of these guys out here, aren't there? Boom! Sneak attack! Come on, come on, come on! Take it, take it! Take the attack! Oh no, he's parrying me! I'm acting so surprised. They all have shields and swords. Come on! I need to see one of these guys dual wield shields. That needs to be an option in some game. Just two shields. One to block, one to bash. I need to uh, do an RPG story time on my uh, my Dwarven Shield Master sometime. Second edition, he had... Uh, oh, well, there's my light armor. And there's another level up. But my block never increased. Ow, and that broke my shield. So, yep, things get real now. He had a, a dwarf that dual-wielded shields. Actually, he, like, did more than that. I will, uh... I will have to schedule that in for an RPG story time. Ah! Don't block me. Come on. Come on, dance around. Dance around. Come on, come on. Dance around. Ow. Ow. Yeah, if I find, like, a bedroll or something, that would be great, but I doubt I'm going to find one in these rooms. I've still got a lot of this dungeon to go, don't I? If I remember right, it's a pretty extensive dungeon. Because I have done this quest before. It's just not for a very, a very long time. I guess I could pick up one of their shields, but... I don't know. And this goes back to the Eyes of the Serpent. 
which is where I was. Another one of these guys. And come on, and I, I triggered a trap. But that's okay, because I'm going to fight you in here, dude. Or do these not set off traps? Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. And then I walked into the damn trap. God damn it. <laughs> Look. If they didn't want me to use the traps against them, they shouldn't have put them there. Now that goes to the scales of the serpent, which is another sub-dungeon. Probably going to hit that on my way out. Maybe. I don't know what's in the scales of the serpent. I will say this. Here we go. Bridge time. Crossing this creepy bridge over uh, what looks like a open room down there. And... Oh. Come on. Fencing, I guess. I mean, I guess there's... There's worse things to do than fence with these guys. But it gets boring after a while, don't you agree? Come on. Come on. Well, especially when there's two of them, that's no fair. Let's just empty my magic out on one of these guys. Boost in destruction, at least. Come on. Man, that did nothing. That whole destruction spam. That did, like, next to nothing. Come on, dudes. How come they can't trigger the traps? For that matter, how come the traps are triggering on me... ...when I'm jumping through them? Are they magical? Come on. Well, there's one down. Come ah. on. There we go. There we go. Alright. Just looking to see how to get through these traps, that's all. That's all. And back to the bridge. So you just gotta be smart now you face them. Even if you're completely outmatched. So what is over here? Well, there's probably more... Yeah, there's more undead that way. This way leads nowhere. So what do we got here? Backstab? Backstab. There's probably two of them coming after me. So yeah, I'm gonna fight them in the traps. If they didn't want to. If they didn't want me to fight them in the traps, they wouldn't have put the traps here. Okay, dudes. Ready, set, and ah. jump. Ah. Ready. Oh, you guys gotta you guys gotta come over to this ah. side. Do me a favor and block them arrows. Ah. Yeah, I need to heal up before I go through that trap again. Come on, dude. Now, one of them is almost dead. Right. Come on, just take him down. And jump. Oh. Man, this one's almost dead. Ah. Damn it, stop blocking me. 
Why did I sheathe my sword? There's one of them down. You know what? You get to join them. That trap is nice. Infinite arrows. For my use. Of course, I don't get skill ups from it, but I get out of this freaking dungeon. Anything I can use over here? Nope. Continuing onward. To the venom of the serpent. So I haven't been to the scales of the serpent. And up there is a dude that is a ghost. But is he an NPC or is he like... An actual proper I must fight him ghost. Oh, he's wearing Blades armor. I guess that's the Akaviri armor they come from. We've made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. Okay. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. Well? We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? I've got that note. Here are your orders. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir. And that was all that it took? Come on, tell me he fades. Does he fade? After seeing the orders, the Akaviri commander vanished. The ruins are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead and search for the Madstone. But first, I'm going to see if they have anything over here or over here worth taking. No. No, they don't. Ah. Treasure. Ooh, nice. I thought I only have war heavy armor, but I'm going to take it anyway. There we go. Uh, gold. Not bad. Oh. There we go. And more gold. Not a bad haul. I will be taking that. So let's go back to the Countess. Task complete. Oh god, I've got to find my way out, don't I? Well, I've turned that handle. Where am I in terms of the dungeon? An entirely new area. Oh, it's because this is the area I didn't go to. Well, if there's no undead, I'll just run out. I'm hoping this is the way. Is this the way? Tell me this is the way. It's gotta be the way. Ow! Uh oh, there's a trap. Found a trap. Just let me sprint to the exit. Up. Oops. Up and out. Mouth of the serpent that lets me just leave. <clears throat> oh. I strained myself lifting that log, I guess. And that is that. Now I'm going to go ahead and uh, just tra fast travel back to the Countess. I will see you there. Lord. And here have is the Countess. The Madstone? I certainly have. I never thought it possible. I mean... I had hoped. Your scouts suck, by the way, Countess. In my hands. I mean, the entrance to the place was like oh, literally like ten yards from I where imagined. you guys stopped. Congratulations! I had a feeling you were the right person for the job, and it seems I owe you a reward. Yes, you do. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. That might be useful. Magic. That might might actually be useful. Let's it's see what it does. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. All right. May luck be always on your side. Did, it, did they? They didn't just drop that ring on the floor, did they? Okay, let's take a look at this ring then, shall we? Um, the ring of the serpent eye. Oh, the ring of the viper eye. Fortify agility seven percent. Resist magic nine percent. That's not bad. I want to say that I'm going to equip it versus the Jewel of the Romare. 
I wish you could wear two rings. Alright. So, with that being said and done, let's go see about resting and leveling up one Hello. more time. Alright, back at the inn, let's go ahead and rest and level up again. A little bit less annoying this time. I'll boost luck as usual. I will boost endurance because we got to bump that endurance up. Um, here's the thing. Speed's my best choice, but I think I want more strength because I want to do a little bit more damage when I attack. And on that note, I'm actually going to call it here. Hello, and in the next episode, I'll go ahead and handle some more Bruma quests if I've got any. And if I don't, we'll move onward towards another town. For now, this has been the RPG Crawler with my Let's Play of The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. If you like what you've seen, remember to leave a like, comment if you got any feedback, and subscribe for more RPG content with tabletop and computer. Until next time, take care and goodbye.